Well, tis the season to protect yourself from holiday scams. The FBI says almost 12,000 people reported losing over $73 million during the holiday shopping season last year because of scams. So FBI Baltimore Supervisory Special Agent Keith Custer is joining us this morning. Thank you so much for being here. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yes. So first, let's talk about sort of the, sort of the most prevalent scams that the FBI sees this time of year. Sure. Well, I think the most important thing for people to remember uh, is that scammers do this full time. They do this year round, 24 7, 365. So everybody really needs to be on guard for all sorts of different scams. Uh, the two scams that uh, we usually uh, like to talk about around the holidays, though, are one, your basic online shopping scam. So the FBI will refer to this as a, a non payment or non delivery, meaning a customer will uh, go to a website, uh, order a product. Uh, and that product will either not come uh, or it will arrive and not be as described. So it's a cheap knockoff uh, or a counterfeit product from, <clears throat> excuse me, from, uh, from China or some other place. Uh, the second scam we like to talk about uh, is something that I think everybody has uh, experienced at, at one point. It's very heavily uh, seen last year. It's, we call it smishing. So when you get the SMS text message uh, on your phone, uh, warning you about a uh, order status update mm. uh, or a package that's going to be delivered, and there's a link there. And if you click on the link, you'll get your status update. You're not going to get a status update. Right. What you'll get uh, is usually one of two things: one, uh, maybe some malware that's downloaded uh, to your phone, or secondly, and more common, uh, you'll be directed to a website that is um, categorized or uh, camouflaged to look like the actual Amazon login. Uh, page. Oh, wow. So you'll enter your username, uh, your password, uh, and then nothing happens. Uh, of course, uh, what the bad guy has at that point is your username and password. He can go take over uh, your Amazon account. And even worse, uh, they're going to take that username and password and they're going to try it at different websites, uh, including bank websites. So once those credentials have been compromised, uh, you know, the bad guy really has a, a, a lot of uh, power over you. Oh my gosh. And then what about if we want to donate to charities during the season? How can we do that safely? Sure. Uh, so the most important thing to do is stick with known uh, and vetted uh, charities. So uh, there are unscrupulous people out there uh, willing to create uh, fake charities with uh, real sounding names like the National Breast Cancer Awareness Fund or something along those lines and then solicit donations either through mail a uh, phone call uh, or email. So if it's a charity that you haven't uh, experienced before, there's a couple websites out there that can really assist you in vetting those charities. So one is called CharityNavigator.org uh, and the other, and they've been around for 20 years, have been doing this, they're a nonprofit themselves, and then Give.org, which is uh, affiliated with the Better Business Bureau. So either of those two websites do their own kind of homework so that you don't have mm -hmm. to. Got you. And really quickly, how can someone go about reporting if they feel like they are a victim of one of these scams? Sure. The FBI runs a, a website called the Internet Crime Complaint Center, and that's www.ic3.gov. So any consumer can go there to uh, file a report. Uh, additionally, we do a lot of work with the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC. They have their own kind of consumer reporting uh, mechanism as well. So ftc.gov for that. Okay, such important information. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here and give us that information. It's my pleasure. Thank you.